Hi Storytime Lovers! You're in for a treat today, because I have picked out for you a brand new book by Australian author Scott Stewart, who wrote this story for his son Colin. Why? Well, when Colin was three, his most prized possession was his frozen Elsa doll, which he took everywhere, but children at preschool kept making fun of him. So, Scott Stewart wrote My Shadow is Pink to share his story and encourage readers to accept and love their true selves. And I would like to thank Scott Stewart from the bottom of my heart, because my son's shadow has been pink for the longest time, and I'm sure this story will help so many other children. So if you like it, you can click on the link below to get a copy for any child or parent who needs it. And now, let's read on. My dad has a shadow that's blue as can be, and there's nothing but blue in my whole family tree. But mine is quite different. It's not what you think, for mine is not blue. My shadow is pink. My shadow loves ponies and books and pink toys, princesses, fairies, and things not for boys. But there's one thing it likes most I have found. It loves wearing dresses and dancing around. It spins and it sparkles and it twirls through the air, then stops as my dad walks in with a glare. It will turn blue one of these days. Don't worry, he says. It is just a phase. Dad's shadow is blue. It is big. It is strong, but when I stand with it, I just feel so wrong. I wish mine was blue like all of the others. I wish mine was blue like my dad's and my brother's. I'd be part of the group, of that there's no doubt. But I cannot fit in when my shadow stands out. Now things are all changing, and that is not cool. I'm ready to start my first day at school. The teacher has asked us to dress up with our shadow in its favorite thing. My heart skips a beat as I put on a dress. And I look at my dad, who is anxious and stressed. He takes me to class and I turn to say bye. His face is all worried, there's fear in his eyes. So I step in the doorway and puff out my chest. One thing is clear, I'm not like the rest. I try to say, hi, but my voice is too quiet. The kids turn around and the room, it goes silent. I run out the door and I push past my dad. I run to my house feeling angry and sad. If my shadow was blue, I'd be there making friends. I'd be laughing and playing and drawing with pens. I rip off my dress, throw it down on the floor. I won't wear it again, not ever, no more. Just then, at my door, came a soft little knock. It's my dad walking in, and I look up in shock. Both he and his shadow, in dresses they stood, with shimmering seams and pink sparkling hoods. He speaks in a voice that's quite soft, but is stern. Pick up that dress. You must listen and learn. Your shadow is pink. I see now it's true. It's not just a shadow. It's your innermost you. He showed me the photos of parents and brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and others. We've all had a shadow that's hidden from eyes. Sometimes our shadow, it lives in disguise. His shadow loves painting and fashion and art. Her shadow loves engines and powerful cars. His shadow loves dance with its turns and its twirls. Her shadow, she hides it. Her shadow likes girls. His shadow loves theatre and acting and plays. Her shadow loves science and planets 
and space. Your shadow is you, and pink it will be. So stand up with your shadow and yell, "This is me." And some, they will love you, and some, they will not. But those who do love you, they'll love you a lot. So put on that dress and get back to school. If someone won't like you, then they are the fool. My heart nearly burst, and my shadow it soared. I picked up the dress and wore it once more. We ran out the door this time, holding hands. My dad and our shadows together we stand. I stride in my class, and I puff out my chest. I may be different, but different is best. I join a small group, though in I don't blend. They look up, and smile. Will you be our friend? Thank you for listening, everyone. And if you loved this book, please visit Scott Stewart's website. And before we go, I'm dying to ask you a question: What color is your shadow, and what does it like to do? I would love to hear about your shadow in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. And see you soon.